Hello everybody, this is Hypercold64 and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode we did the chapter, or we saw, where we played and saw, the chapter 2 interlude for both Bowser and Peach. And in this episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue on through the chapter 2 post game and actually hopefully maybe finish it because we actually don't have that much to do right now. Anyway, uh, next up we're going to check out Lala. Play with me! The Piazza Parlor is now having its grand opening event. Whee! Whoever takes this request gets something special from Lalia, a cute kitty boo. We're waiting on Rogueport's west side, so please come quickly. Smooch! Interesting. Want to take on Lala's trouble? Oh, jeez. I didn't even do that. Yes. Okay, do it and do it right. Okay, so we need to head off to the west side of Rogueport, and because we haven't been here for a while. Flurry was clipped through the wall. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> anyway. Let's go. <laughs> oh, what's this? Well, hey, big bro. Fancy meeting you here. What a quinky dink. Eh? Who, me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Esclar of the Waffle Kingdom. Yes, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. Well, I went to Ruffle Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was a pretty nuts old bro. What? Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. No. And this must be her. Hey there, I'm Bluey. And this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him! You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I ended up landing in lava. Lava, man, you think that feels good? Thanks, Dave. You could stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. Crispified? I'll never forget that guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi! That must have been a very terrible story, because I didn't bother to read it. <laughs> okay. Let's do the trouble now, shall we? Yeah, again, Luigi will be popping up talking about stories and all that crap. Blah, 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 whatever. Let's just freaking do this. Anyway. Let's see. Interesting. There she is. Hi. Hi. Hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Oh, you took on my trouble. That is so super. Well, okay. Here's your special thing. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't tell anybody. Hey, what's the matter? You look disappointed. Well, fine, whatever. Enjoy the parlor. Play and win. You solved the trouble. So yes, for solving the trouble, you get 10 Piazza coins. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Piazza parlor. The Piazza parlor is a special place because it's a place where you can actually go and play different types of games. And actually, I think while we're here, we might as well show off what that game is. Oh, Mario, that card. You got a member's card. Okay, I'll prepare the mini game you can play with the member's card. How exciting. You can now play the playing game. What can I show you? Playing game. Okay, it'll cost you 10 piantas to play. Okay? Sure. Okay, stay on your toes. So the basic gist of this game is what you have to do is you basically have to try and get as far as you can with the plane. That's the basic gist of this. It's not that hard. It should be pretty easy to do it. It's, I mean, the fact that there actually is, uh, times two types, uh, pillars as well. So, you want to try and go as far as you can. And you can also get Pianta coins as well. Come on. Yeah! Right on times two! Sweet. One each. Times two. 22 Beyonce coins. So yes, basically how these works is basically you uh, put in a certain amount of Pianta coins and basically you play to try and give even more Pianta coins. And you can use these Pianta coins as currency exclusively in uh, the parlor. Um, the better you do on the games, the more the better you do on the games, the more Pianta coins you win. And you can use these coins to actually buy items exclusively at the store here in the Pianta parlor. Thank you for playing. Come again soon. But don't forget to rescue Princess Peach. Of course. 
Rescue Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show? Trade in winnings. Prices can't be found anywhere else. Alright, so here are some of the things that you can get. Um, so there's a lot of things you can get here. There's cake mix, a super shroom, a maple syrup, which is actually an improvement from the... We actually haven't seen these yet. These improve... They, 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 uh, they gave you 10 FP instead of uh, 5 FP. Uh, the power jump, which we actually haven't gotten yet. The super peel, which we get to get. The refund badge, which... I just want to note. This is an amazing badge. I'm definitely going to be getting... You know what? I need to get that badge. I need to get that badge. Because that badge is freaking amazing. I'm not even joking. It's freaking amazing. I need to get that badge now. Refund badge is awesome. I love it so much. Let's do it. Uh, Refund badge, please. And the, and the best part is that it only takes one badge point to equip it. Uh, no thanks. But yes, now we have the refund badge. Uh, refund some coins if you use an item in battle. So every time you use an item in battle, you can actually get money back from actually uh, uh, using that item. Which is a very, very helpful item if you need a lot of money. In fact, I'm going to equip it right now because, honestly, I'm going to need it late. Well, you know what? I'll equip it later because, honestly, I don't really need it right now in particular, but I'll equip it later. Speaking of which, we need to equip some badges. Um, we have the Pretty Lucky unequipped. Pretty lucky I can live without. Um, we haven't tried to charge yet. There's a super appeal. Which we might want to try. Let's do charge, the super appeal. And, uh... The Mega Rush P. Let's go with those. You can also trade in coins to actually buy more Piazza coins. So as you can see, you can trade in 30 coins to get 10, 5 coins to get 15, and 1 coin to get three. No matter what, uh, it doesn't matter which one you do, you're always going to get one Piazza coin per three coins. So, it's, yeah, it's kind of interesting, but anyway. That's pretty much all I wanted to show there. Post Commentary Cole here to tell you guys that the next trouble actually takes place in a certain area that I didn't really want to show yet. Um, the original commentary for this episode was me basically just conflicting whether, oh, I should show where this guy like this kid's dad is or no i shouldn't because well it spoils some things i'll just go over right now um this next trouble if you guys couldn't tell if it's actually showing up right now takes place in the pit of 100 trials for anyone who doesn't know what that is um it's basically possibly the hardest post game activity you can do in this game and it's something that i do not recommend going through until you finish the game because you need to be at a high level and you need to have a certain types of items. You need to have certain types of items to actually get through that freaking thing. And if you guys watched my first playthrough, you should know that it was really, really hard. And, uh, don't go through it until the game is over. I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, back to the commentary. Um, I, during the, basically the reason why I'm basically doing post-commentary for this is because I was just conflicting and I felt it just wasn't good commentary. So, uh, what I'm basically going to do here is I'm going to be showing a little bit of the Pit of 100 Trials. Um, because really, it was only up to like, what, level 17, 18? I can't exactly remember. But I'm just going to show the location of Pine T Jr.'s dad, and that's it. And then um, we shall end off the episode, because that's the last extra thing I'm going to do in this episode. Which means we will be cutting this episode off short. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the floor that Pine T Jr.'s floor is on right now. And I will see you guys in just a little bit. Alright guys, we saved Pine T Jr.'s uh, dad, we have saved him, we are going to go ahead and claim our reward. And um, the reason why I'm probably not reading the text right now is because I'm just doing this commentary, this post-commentary. Uh, I'm not actually watching the video right now, 
So, you know, I can't actually see what PyT Jr. is actually saying and his dad is saying. But whatever, that's all we... This is all we need to do. That's it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry if this episode was short. I don't know. It's just I didn't do much in this episode. Uh, but in the next episode, uh, I actually still have a couple more extras to cover. And then next episode, we are actually going to be... We are actually going to find out where Chapter 3 is, where the next Crystal Star is. And, uh, we're not gonna be going into Chapter 3 next episode, unfortunately. Um, next episode is basically going to be, what well, you could say, the road to Chapter 3. Kind of like what Paper Mario was, with, like, the road to Chapter 8 and all that stuff, but anyway. Uh, that's it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other content. And, uh, yeah, I'm Upper Girl 64 and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next episode.